as students i'm a geography teacher so today we are going to discuss one another topic that is golden quadrilateral in previous video we have discussed a lot of thing about the indian expressway and indian highway in this video we are going to discuss the golden quadrilateral so uh, in my uh, behind you can see that there are there are image also in this image uh, you can say that the, there are some roadways connection of the four cities okay four main capital cities start from delhi and uh, and to mumbai then the chennai and chennai to here you can say that is the kolkata so this is this area is known as a because in the golden quadrilateral okay so golden quadrilateral is a national network that connects the major industrial agriculture area and cultural centers of india it forms a quadrilateral connecting the four major metro cities perhaps you can see in the north that is in delhi kolkata that is in uh, kolkata east mumbai west and chennai south so this this entire thing this entire the connection of these four cities or the capital cities is is um, widely known as a golden quadrilateral okay including this perhaps you can see there are some east and west east to west if you take example east from there guwahati assam guwahati to or gujarat okay gujarat you can see the porbandar so this area is known as a uh, east uh, east to west corridor and K kashmir kashmir here and kanyakumari in the south so this is known as the north south corridor okay so in this video we are going to discuss about the details first thing if you want to discuss the delhi to kolkata golden quadrilateral perhaps you can see their their length is uh, 1453 km and this route connects the national highway in its two and this route passes through the several states including the west bengal haryana delhi uttar pradesh jharkhand and bihar the major cities that are the connected through the routes are mathura farida nabad agra Allahabad, Firuzabad, Kanpur, and Varanasi. So these are the connected, interconnected. These are the cities and provide a widely connection with each others. Then another, there is a Kolkata to Chennai. So length, perhaps you can say that is a one six eight four kilometer, and these routes connect the parts of the national highway of N H sixty and N H five. And the N H sixty part of this highway connects the Kharagpur to Balasore. Balasore it is in located in Odisha. Ah, uh, while the in its five is a part of the connected balasore to chennai so this major states that is covered by the tamil nadu odisha andhra pradesh and west bengal then another that is the number third that is the chennai to mumbai okay so chennai to mumbai you can say the 1290 km and uh, and uh, chennai mumbai routes is connect uh, through their national highway the first part in uh, you can say the nh46 connect the chennai to um, krishnagiri while the second part it is connect nh7 uh, connects from the um, krishnagiri to bangalore and uh, finally the third part is connect nh4 that is start from the bangalore to the mumbai and stays you can say the highway passes through the karnataka and tamil nadu and maharashtra and andhra pradesh so most of the southern states covered by the chennai mumbai golden quadrilateral second thing the fourth fourth thing if you want to discuss so 149 so total kilometer 1419 kilometer the final leg of the golden quadrilateral that is to mumbai to delhi covering the national highway of india that is the these are the nh8 nh70 9a and in a 79 and in a 76 the nation the highway originates from the mumbai and passing through the gujarat rajasthan and bypasses ajmer ajmer and to the reach delhi okay so these are the all our thing and the major cities connected this area that is the um, surat gandhi nagar badodra uh, then come to ahmedabad jaipur udaipur gurgaon and finally it is goes to delhi okay so these are the four now uh, you can say the um the uh, uh, golden quadrilateral length and their limbs and they are connecting the all the major cities delhi kolkata kolkata chennai chennai to mumbai and mumbai to delhi so these are the connections so this is called as a 
the golden quadrilateral okay so this is all about the golden quadrilateral second thing we have to study that is the uh, perhaps you can see that is the civil okay so that is uh, uh, that is the national what is the national highway then state highway district highway and rural highway so this national highway if you want to discuss so in this regard we can say these roads are primary roads of the country and connect the large cities and major industrial areas and these are developed and maintained by the responsibility central government state highway these are the links the important centers of the industry and trade and commerce of states and national highway so these are the connection between the state highway and national highway district these are the um, connect the different part of the district okay important industrial centers if uh, anything is located anyone is located in the that particular district if you take uh, durgapur that is connected the um, connected the another uh, area okay so these are the bilai so these are the connection area and uh, market and usually lead to the local railway station so these are connection also local railway station or the junction it may be okay rural way these are the connect the villages village to village these are connect the rural roadways and this um, they are the two types metal and unmetal metal means the pakka road and unmetal means the kacha road okay the next part we are going to discuss about the bro means the border roads organization okay so bro was the formed um, was formed on 7th may 1960 to secure the india's border and um, develop the infrastructure in remote areas of the north and north east states of the country given below this the you can say that as the most important thing about the border roads way so we share our uh, our um, international border with pakistan afghanistan china okay nepal bhutan then myanmar bangladesh so due to this fact we boro bro means the border road organization already uh, functioning okay and uh, initially bro function under the ministry of the road and transport and and highways but in 2015 when the this government new bjp government has come it's being to manage and functional under the ministry of defense bro and this sanction and, uh, and you can say the operational 21 states and one union territories most of the states they constructing these of the road and um, separate money has been sanctioned from the central government this we have to understand but also functional is you can see the friendly countries in the neighboring countries that that can use for the their import and export purpose okay country like uh, afghanistan bhutan myanmar and uh, as well as you know that is the uh, sri lanka organization form in the seven may 17 1960 and maintain uh, maintain and develop the indian remote areas in the north and northeast area because the north and northeast area is a very very harsh climatic condition Uh, flood occurs every year frequently. So due to this fact, this area should be connected. And whenever the road was flush or away from due to the you know, flood, so that time again you have to maintain this. In 2018, a uh, general Sanjeev Kumar Shivastava took the overtake the post of the director general of the in the you can see the border border roads organization and is the com co, you can see the composition of the organization comprises officer and the troops who are selected the indian army troops of the engineer then the army service crops military uh, mili- uh, perhaps you go military you know, pol- police and others personnel they help in this regard so this is the bro means the border road organization and most of the you can see the personnel personnel they are attending oof, they are attending in this area mission border roads mission of the border roads if you boro bro uh, works under the set of guidelines as introduced the government of india and give the below of the bro to ensure the cost of effective sustainable and strategic and needs of the armed armed forces uh, are met without any uh, any inconvenience okay achieving an international level of of um, quality excellence and time and concise a uh, present uh, there is a expertise is and a project and national or uh, transitional development and using the information and technology is the best possible manner and implementing them in the different pattern okay to give the proper support to the indian army or indian soldier harsh level of proficiency must be shown in the every construction upgrade the quality of the life and livelihood the person or the people who are living near the border area give all type of transport accessibility connectivity to the people so that is why the that the main mission um, of the bro means the border roads organization we discuss a lot okay so uh, you can say um, 
significance if you want to discuss so significance perhaps you can see contribute the social economic development of the border state bordering state number of bordering state we share uh, Unachal Pradesh, Zendam, Mizoram, okay, um, Shikim, okay, West Bengal. So these are the state and the UP also. So this area contribute the social economic development of the border states and infrastructure. Significance during the war, so the, the maintenance and the developing the roads through the line of the control and perform any other specific task assigned by the government. Apart from about this mentioned situation, BRO contribution, BRO's contribution to the safety and growth of the development power between you can see the north and northeast also plays a very important role. Not just in India, but in our friendly neighboring countries as well, BRO has had a part to play the infrastructural development. One of these include the Dilaram, okay, Jarang Highway in Afghanistan, which was constructed in 2008 also by the, uh, by, by the BRO, Border Road Organization. Apart from this, in case of the climate or the natural disaster would be there. So that time all type of um, facilities, all type of, you can say the all type of facilities is given to the reconstruction, all type of facilities given to the, um, uh, um, done by the Border Roads Organization. Okay, so this much for today. Next day we will we'll come with new topic that is the Indian Railway. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.